Hey Youtubers, Xander here, welcome back to Terraria 1.3 Expert. Well, last time we attempted to fight the bee queens and actually managed to kill one and died to some more. And then we... I keep breathing through my teeth, I need to stop doing that. But afterwards we got the spoils of the battle and tried to reforge them as best as possible so now we have a hurtful bee gun which I'm gonna test out some more it seemed to be doing a pretty good job against the uh, bee queen herself so we'll see how that goes and we also got built sorry a uh, staff so now we have our own little like zoom and pet who just can't stop moving and we also have eh, shifting around move uh, something that we can basically summon a bee to help us fly around for a bit and in this episode, I'm going to basically get a bunch of eyes of Cthulhu's. So we need to head to the Crimson. Although Sarah spaz a lot. Especially because it's getting to be nighttime right now, so we need to hurry. So we're going to quickly make our way to the crimson find ourselves an altar craft some stuff and hopefully call it good there oh is my hornet shooting stuff oh he is okay he's a familiar that shoots I thought he was gonna like charge that's cool The only problem is that the bees don't make light. Right, it's been a while since I've been in here, so I kind of forgot the layout. Ow, 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 ow. Hey, hey, hey. Hmm. I'm not sure how I feel about this yet. I guess we'll see. That definitely is handy. For Isaac Cthulhu. What did I... Hmm. What was I missing? Oh, just more vicious powder. Okay. Not bad. Ah, well. Don't have time. Where was I keeping that? There it was. Some more vicious powder, and then I can have. Do I not have? I do not. Interesting. Oh, not. Oh, he also poisons. Oh, that's handy. That's cool. I like that. I like it because of the persistent damage. Alright, let's bring out you. Just because I want this battlefield to have one of these. Can I... Could you not? There. I need both. Alright. Everything needs to die. Please and thank you. Alright, guess I'm using up all my heart lanterns because I left the two behind. That's fine. Hey look, an eye of Cthulhu. Where'd you come from? Hmm. Well, I think about it. I don't think this will be very good against the Eye of Cthulhu just because when he starts uh, charging, bees won't be able to keep up.
Yeah, I don't, I'm sad to say, but I think Water Bolt is better. Yeah, Water Bolt's better than... One. Yeah, definitely better. Just because it just it hits so much. It hits more for a lot. It hits about the same, but a lot more damage. Even though it's not homing, because it ricochets, it's just so much better. So, sadly, I'm going to have to retire the B-Gun already. There we go, there's number two. Hey, got an Ayak Thulu trophy. I don't think I actually had that before. Still got water bolts from before persisting. Another thing too is like, yeah, I don't have to aim with the B-Gun, but I don't have to aim with this if I set my arena up correctly, so... I think my dash attack is actually like, cancelling out... Oh, I'm out of mana, okay. Damn it. Huh! <laughs> Get wrecked. And last but not least. Boop. So sadly, I spent the money upgrading the, uh, um, whatchamacallit, for no reason. So I think the charge is actually, like, cancelling out damage that I received from contact. Yeah, I think it's cancelling contact damage. Yeah, it is. Damn, that's actually pretty handy. Okay, kinda. Canceling the damage from his quick charge, so that's cool. I like it. It's allowing me to dodge a lot easier. And there we go. Four eyes of Cthulhu. I'm about to be very rich. I'll be for the end of the night too. Hello, Mr. Witch Doctor. I don't want to talk to you because <laughs> it'll put out my campfire. Actually, be my first trip. How did you? Get out of here. Get out of here with that. There. Let us open these up. All that crimson ore. What is? No, oh, it's already warding. Oh, Naya Cthulhu mask. Interesting. Wow, that's a lot of crimtain ore. I actually kind of want to talk to. Okay, I guess I need a. 
All right. I need to first figure out. Okay, the Knight's Edge requires the Blood Butcher. The Blood Butcher. Blood Butcher. -er. Requires that. Just, no, oh, just 10, that's it? Okay. And pluck out 10 of those. There. Don't know why I never did that before. Nope, stop it. Okay. That and that. Now let us get rich, hopefully. Maybe not. Okay, maybe. Alright, I made... Yeah, I got rich. Okay, cool. And actually, I could probably... I can make, what, another... Fight one more time? Yay! Trophy. What even is that? Like an eyelid or something? Weird. Okay, I need to speak to my goblin dude. Oh, yeah. So... Sorry, Begun, but you are not nearly as helpful as I thought you were going to be. So I'm going to have to immediately put you there and bring back the space gun. Go figure. Alright. So what do I need to reforge? these things. That's good enough for now. Oh. Shit. I didn't even... I didn't even realize that that wasn't warding. Okay. There. That's a lot more defense. I'm happy with that. And I still got money to spare, so cool. Boom. Could actually b buy a bleh, 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 bleh. could buy a safe right now if I chose to do so, but I choose not to. I'm gonna make some hearts jar things. I don't know where to make them. How do I... Alright, hang on. Oh, it's chain. I'm an idiot. So, I should have chains, right? Yeah, I got plenty of chains. There. Five. Nice. I should make another bucket and get some honey while I'm at it, but now, nah, well, I can wait. Toss those in there for now. For what do we want to make more? I don't really need torches. I'm gonna sell those. Okay. So let's see. I want that and that. Was it six? I think it's six. doing this all for a very specific reason. Because I think to make the 
vicious powder. I need an alchemy station, or well, not an alchemy station, but like just a table with a glass jar on it for al like potion making stuff. And then I can make the vicious powder while in the crimson, so that I can then just make all those spine things and fight the brains of Cthulhu, etc., etc. Cetera, et cetera. I wonder if the bee gun would be good against the eye. No. I thought about it for like half a second. And I was like, nope, water bolt. Uh -huh. right. Oh, you suck. Well, hopefully I can... Yeah, it's still early in the day. I could probably get to him before. He leaves. Mushroom. Another vicious mushroom. Yeah. Oh, interesting. Alright. The only thing I think the B gun would actually be better in is open areas like this. That's the only time I think that the Well, goodbye. I was gonna say, oh that's cool, it like survived and shit. Nope. Oof, oof, oof. Ah God, that is Painful area. It's nice having another pet, though. Like one that attacks that isn't a slime. And didn't just kind of like soak up my DPS. Hmm. Ooh, actually, I'm gonna head this way. Yep, okay, that hurt. Kinda. <laughs> it's only taken for one, so... Yep. Alright. So I need to find a spot... Where I can actually set this down. Oh, and look at that again. I was right. I can only make one bloody spine. That's fine. I'm just gonna leave those there because who the hell cares, right? Let's head back. Let's find that traveling merchant. A Monsieur Machon. Where beeth thou ist? Ism. Yo. Hey. Traveling merchant dude. What the fuck are you doing on top of my house? I already have that, already have that. I think I have that. Don't care about that. I mean... Sure? Yeah, there. And fuck it. I don't know what those will be like, but... I don't think I need the DPS or the stopwatch. Double check real quick before it leaves, obviously. Um, this one. 
Yeah, we've got both the stopwatch and the DPS. Okay, yeah, I'm good. I already got the blood crawler thing, so I can just sell that. Um. All right. Not exactly sure where I'm gonna keep those, but anyway, fuck it. Right there. Oh shoot! My oh, it's weird. So I think I can summon the brain at night. Or during the day, I mean. But it might have to be in the crimson. I'm not sure. Hello. Red squirrel. Neat. So the question is, do I try? Yeah, sure, I'll try. Yeah, okay. So I've got to be underground in the crimson to do that. So let's head back. And then after we do that fight, we'll probably fight the Eye Cthulhu again and call it good. And then after that, I mean... Pretty much explore the jungle. I mean, we only beat the Queen once, but... I don't think I really need to beat her more than once just because... Already got her item, like her expert item, and her other item just didn't seem very appealing. So then... Oh, wow. Whoa. I never fought the queen, the brain over here, apparently. Jesus Christ, holy hell. I mean, damn. Okay. Wow, I can't believe I never did that. Tells you how much I pay attention. Alright, well, if that's the case. Piggy, piggy, piggy! Come out here because I need you some dish. Actually, no, I think I can just do that right. Let's see how many times I can fight. Oh, I got confused. Okay, I think what I need to do is I need to go up here. I need. All 
Alright, doing a bit more damage than I would like. And dead. Cool. Alright. Well, let's just farm this for a little bit. What are we doing on time wise? Yeah, we got plenty of time. Well, not really, but at the same time, who cares? Alright. Okay, Crimson Rod. Hey, <laughs> hey, been a while since I've seen one of those. Oh, back off. Another Crimson Rod, go fucking figure. This is gonna summon it. Oh, that was quick death, or er, quick killing of all those eyeballs, at least. Okay, I'm now at a mana, which is a bit of a problem. Oh, shit. Oh, cool. Alright, that was death number two. Why is it as soon as I kill one, the fucking worm shows back up? Haha, uh -huh, killed by poison, bitch. Another crimson rod, go fucking figure. Do I have any bombs? I don't. Well, that sucks. Got an un agile undertaker. Alright. So it looks like this is the last one I'll be able to summon. Yeah, definitely. But I can still get one more item out of it afterwards. And boom. Yeah, this is definitely the best spot to fight it, ironically. I was trying to fight it up there and I was like, nope, that was bad. I like slowed. So. This is actually going to hurt me. Okay. Well, that was close. Gotta love the water bolt. Too good. Let's see, I will just... Grab this last item. Teleport on back. And we will fight the eye. Hey, oh, meteorite land. Oh man, I'm gonna get a lot of meteorites now that I think about it. I just destroyed a bunch of those hearts. And I. Man, I love Water Bolt. It's so good. Oh, 
Why am I moving so slowly? It seems weird. I don't know. Yes. Come on. There. Weird. Maybe it's like frame rate dropping or something. Oops. No need to teleport. I'll just get a few more items as I go. Okay. Lots of spoils of war. Oh yeah, that can be combined with uh, some sort of honey thing to make it so that when I get hurt, I speed up and also release bees. Don't care. Don't care about the crimson. Is that material? Nope, don't care. Why do I got a platinum and a half for that? Cool. Boom. Alright, now I have a lot of money. Cool. Well, I guess I've got some ammo too. I like have not even been using this dude. Well, that's not... <laughs> well, that's because that's... What? Hang on. Hang on. Did floating islands just become a lot easier to find? Oh, no way. I think they did. Until that happens question is, am I going to fall damage from this? I don't think I am. Oh, man. <laughs> Take my harm, buddy! Oh, you are, like, tired, I think. Run! Oh, man, this is, like, how you fight Skeletron, I think. Oh, I mean, yes, but no. Oh man, that is beautiful. This guy's so helpful. Alright, well now I think I know what I'm going to be doing in the next episode. Damn. Let's head back. And I stay on him. Sweet. Hmm. How do I get off of him, though? Oh, I bet I know how. Nope, that didn't work. How do I... How do I... How, how? Help! Oh, okay. Alright, cool. Wow, alright. Awesome! Wish I would have known about that sooner. Alright. So what, this whole episode was basically just farming a bunch of bosses, making a bunch of money. So that way, next episode... Next episode, I think I'm actually just going to go for... Uh, um, floating Islands, now that I got the... Like, now that I realize how good the bee mount is, um, yeah, I'm gonna go after floating islands. And after that, I think it's pretty much just 
heading down to the hell lair for the bo final boss before hard mode. Getting close to the second half. I don't even think it's considered like half. Maybe like this. Almost done with the first third of the game. <laughs> Anyways, I uh, hope you guys enjoyed. And I guess I will see you next time.